Hey guys, welcome to another episode of VTech Academy. You're about to get school. school, 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 school. Alright, so I feel like the last thing we need to put on this engine before we drop it in the car is the um, the wiring harness. Now, uh, I'm gonna have to dig that up real quick. Ah. So here's our wiring harness. It, I may have lied. I said that I built this out of a uh, element harness, but I don't recall element harnesses having this style of uh, connector on them. So this may have originally been an RSX harness that I just put the other style of uh, plastics on. Well, doesn't matter. Um, we'll go ahead and put this harness on and, uh, and get it ready. I think even though this may have originally been an RSX harness, I think I will still go over how to take an element harness and uh, convert it over to use with uh, this particular engine. Uh, because you can actually find those in the salvage yard still. So there's actually a, a pretty good reason why people should understand, you know, what it takes in order to get these things to work. Uh, again, a lot of the dimensions are the same basically for the uh, for using it with a TSX engine if you have drive-by throttle cable, or using the Accord engine. And the Accord engines are a really cheap alternative to uh, the RSX engine. It, at 160 horsepower. Uh, the O1 Civic actually moves really nicely with that engine in it. Now, uh, we're coming to the uh, crank angle sensor. <laughs> yeah. I think this was a uh, RSX harness. Uh, the way it's keyed is uh, if you look here closely at this connector, you can see that the keys on either side are right in the middle. On the um, crank angle sensor that comes on the RSX, the EP3, and the CRV, that's how that works. So this particular connector is actually keyed for a CRV or a uh, RSX EP3 or EP3 crank angle sensor. I don't believe I have one for this one, so we're going to need to change this plug and we're going to need to repin it. Now there's actually a video on how to do that, but uh, since I got you here, we'll go ahead and do that for you right now. I actually had an Accord harness I was converting over for use with an earlier style engine for our project Prelude, so I was able to pull the connector off of that so we can change it out. So basically there's three wires here. There's a power wire, a ground wire, and a signal wire. And to get to them, we need to lift this lock out. And then there are little plastic tabs that are holding each one of these in. So we're going to lift those one by one. Pull our wires out. This harness is baked. Very old. The wires are stiff. That's what she said. <laughs> this pin slightly differently, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, pin it out correctly for this. So. When numbering and looking at stuff, this is a female pin. So it's going to have female terminals. So the way we look at it to know how it's numbered is we look at the back side. That's one, that's two, and that's three. Number one is going to be our power. Number three is going to be our uh, ground wire. And the center one is going to be our signal wire. So we're going to reinstall those just like that. So yellow black is our power wire. Click it into place. 
This brown yellow is our ground. That goes in the other end. And then the center one, the one that wireless left over, is our signal back to the ECU. And it's going to go into the center position. You can hear them all click when they go home. And now we need to put our lock in. It's locked in and it can be plugged in. Except it looks like I need to install a sensor. Here it is. Yeah. You can see this, how this Accord slash TSX sensor has a keys slightly down below the center. And if you look at our old connector, they were in the center. So there's no way this one would have went on. It just wouldn't have gone on, which is fine because it wasn't uh, pinned correctly to work anyway. That's in and that is connected. For our transmission, start off with our reverse lockout since this is a six speed transmission. It should click home at some point. There it goes. This is our counter shaft speed sensor. Normally, <clears throat> on an RSX harness, it would have came to right here and would have been for our vehicle speed sensor. And that's how it does. But we had to modify this one to, for use as a counter shaft speed sensor. So that's going to go around here to the front of the transmission. That's just right down here on the front. That's our counter shaft speed sensor. So this is going to route. We'll go ahead and bring it forward in front, keep it out of the shifter cables, and plug it in down here. Now, this particular sensor we had to add, and it is different than the vehicle speed sensor. The vehicle speed sensor has a power, a ground, and a signal. They go back to A18 on the ECU plug. Now there's actually a video on how to do this, but let me just go over it real quickly. Basically, we use the same signal back to the ECU at A18, but we had to change the other two wires because normally it uses 12 volts power and just normal uh, ground through the, uh, through, the, uh, for the, through the harness ground. That is too much voltage for the sen sensor. It'll burn it out. So what you do is you extend the signal wire over, bring it in, and then the other one, um, and then the other two wires you add actually share um, the TPS's power and ground. The TPS uses a five volt signal and a signal ground that goes back to the ECU. So you basically are gonna tap into those. So what we have is we have a yellow blue wire on one side, a black blue wire in the middle, that's the signal that goes back to the uh, to A18, the yellow blue being the power, the signal power, and then the signal ground is a green yellow wire. So looking at the back side, it's power at number one, signal in the center, and ground the other side. And basically, you're just gonna match up this yellow blue wire to the yellow blue wire on the TPS, just find it where it's in the harness and hook up to it. And then the green yellow wire as well, just find it in the harness, hook up to it as well, and that gives you everything you need for the uh, for the uh, yeah. I think I'm going to reroute over here, but it gives you everything you need for the counter shaft speed sensor. Yeah, in front. All right. Now, last to hook up on the transmission is our reverse. Right. Now this large green plug right here, actually, uh, 
Actually, I did a pretty good job of uh, putting all the Accord plastics on this harness. All right, this plug down here winds up going to our going to our sub harness. Oh no, yeah, there we go. This right here is our TPS. Our map sensor. This is the temp air sensor. And this is our starter wire. I'm going to peel the rubber back. It's a little bit easier to see what I'm doing. underneath this hose. This large light green colored plug is for the uh, electronic air control valve. Now we have left are the Injector plugs. Do not forget to hook up your ground. The car will not run without. And usually what winds up happening is it grounds intermittently, so it really drives you nuts. What I had was a repair. When I was pulling this out of the car earlier, uh, the other engine, I actually damaged the uh, plug for the AC compressor. So I need to crimp a new end on that. So let's take a quick look to see what it looks like. Like the old VTEC plugs. Push the old connector out. That terminal came off. Need to put a new one on. like my insulator's damaged, so we'll replace that too. We're ready to drop this motor in the car. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us. And if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us get discovered by others. And if you like this particular episode, go ahead and hit the bell so that you get notified next time there's an episode up on this particular car. Well guys, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. We'll try to get to them all, answer your questions on the next video. Thanks for clicking on us.